you, Dee. Um, now I would like to introduce uh, Megan Young. Megan is a Senior Services Case Management Supervisor, and she is going to talk about our newest program called PEARLS, which is very exciting. Megan. Hi, everyone. Can you guys hear me okay? Wonderful. Well, I'm super excited to be here and talk to you all about our brand new program, PEARLS. And that stands for Program to Encourage Active and Rewarding Lives. This is brand new to us at FSA. This is actually our first month. We're starting now. Our coaches are finishing their training and eager to work with clients. Uh, so I'm going to go with just a little bit of history of PEARLS, describe the program a little bit, um, and what people might expect if they decide that they want to participate. So PEARLS is an innovative, evidence-based, proactive and goal-oriented approach to overcoming problems that may be related to depression. It was developed in the 1990s by the University of Washington Health Promotion Research Center uh, in response to increasing rates of depression among older adults. PEARLS is a community-based program that teaches participants methods to better manage their depressive symptoms through problem-solving techniques and behavioral activation. But PEARLS is more than a depression program. It does more than treat depression. It's also an empowerment program that helps older adults develop skills necessary to take action and make lasting life changes so that they can lead more active, independent, and rewarding lives. PEARLS is kind of special. It's part of a cultural shift in how depression and depression-related symptoms are being managed for our aging community members. Traditionally, programs that targeted older adults with depression or depression-related symptoms utilized a clinical mental health approach, which is wonderful. I'm a therapist. I love therapy. It's a wonderful approach. But sometimes we need a little more or a little bit less, and that's where PEARLS comes in. PEARLS doesn't utilize the traditional clinical mental health uh, approach, which would be talk therapy medication. PEARLS utilizes, sorry, I just lost my place. <laughs> um, so both of which are effective and helpful. PEARLS, though, focuses on skill building and behavioral activation rather than processing emotions and behaviors. PEARLS can be effective per for participants that are currently in therapy and also for those that are not. So this is a program that if you're working with a therapist, it can be a wonderful companion, but it can also be a standalone program that can assist with those depressive symptoms. The, some of the symptoms that people might have when they come to PEARLS might be feeling down, feeling blue, having a loss of interest in um, activities that maybe they used to be interested in. And those are signs of depression. Doesn't mean that you have depression. PEARLS does not need a depression diagnosis, nor does it give you one. It just recognizes that sometimes we have these symptoms that may or may not be an actual diagnosis of, of depression. But we're targeting the symptoms, not what's behind it. That would be more for therapy, that traditional route. This is more of a skill building so that you can carry on and remain as independent as possible. PEARLS is an evidence-based program. This means that it has been rigorously tested in controlled settings, proven effective in multiple settings, and translated into practical models that can be delivered in community and clinical settings outside the research setting. So basically, they have done this all over the place with all kinds of different people, all different populations all over the country, and the results are kind of the same, that people show improvement. They show a reduction in those depressive symptoms. They show increased um, social connection and just an overall sense of feeling more in control of their lives. There are three main studies that uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of PEARLS. The first one was done between 2000 and 2003 and showed that participants on average experienced a 50% reduction in their symptoms of depression. The second major study was in 2010 and that was done with people that had depressive symptoms as well as epilepsy and they showed a reduction in um, depression symptoms as well. 
the third, and the one that I'm really excited to learn more about, was done between 2017 and 2021. So this is the newest one. They're still analyzing the data, but it's very encouraging. And it's showing that not only are people reducing their symptoms of depression, but they're also having an improvement in social connectedness, which as Dee mentioned, isolation can be a killer. So we want to increase connectedness, reduce isolation. One of the foundational concepts of the PEARLS program is that when we feel lonely, down, or blue, we stop doing things that we need or even like to do. The less we do, the worse we feel, and the problems begin to pile up because we're not doing the things that we need to do. A cycle of feeling bad and not doing things is then formed. The skills and tools learned in the PEARLS program help to interrupt that cycle and allow participants to better determine how to address their problems and increase their social and resource networks. So how does PEARLS work? I bet you're wondering, right? Sounds wonderful. <laughs> the program consists of six to eight one hour long sessions over the course of four to six months. The sessions start out weekly and taper to monthly sessions as participants learn and practice the skills of the program. The sessions can be done in the office, in the home, in a quiet community setting, over the phone, or virtually with Zoom. Basically, we want to remove the barriers, so wherever the people are that need pearls, we're going to figure out a way to get it to them. So while this is not a therapy program, elements of problem-solving therapy are utilized in addition to scheduling time to Ooh, that's participate in fun or pleasurable activities as well as scheduling social and physical activities. So a typical session, you will identify a problem that you want to work on, work through the steps of problem solving therapy with that issue, and then also schedule some a fun, pleasurable activity to do. And then the behavioral activation piece is scheduling a social and physical activity as well. Those can be anything from going for a walk down the block, maybe baking some cookies, folding the laundry, anything that's physical, anything that's social, and then of course, the most important, something fun, because it's important to have fun. So the PEARLS program is open. We are open for business. We are training. We are ready to meet with people. We're open to county residents that are 60 years old and older who are experiencing mild to moderate symptoms of depression, such as a loss of interest in pleasurable activities, feeling sad or blue or down or lonely, discouraged, frustrated. A diagnosis of depression is not necessary. You don't even have to identify that you're depressed. If you're feeling down, if you've lost interest in doing things, then you qualify for pearls. Um, and you can also self-refer. You don't need a referral from a doctor, from a social worker, from another program. You can give us a call yourself, shoot us an email, and we will go from there. Pearls is free. It's available in English, Spanish, and Mixteco. We have one coach that speaks some dialects of Mixteco, which we're very excited about because there's not a lot of mental health programs available for that community, unfortunately. We have no wait list either. So that's another wonderful thing in this county. No wait list. <laughs> so if you or someone you know might be interested in pearls or has some questions, um, wants to know a little bit more information, always happy, happy to answer questions about pearls and very happy to enroll participants. So give us a call. Thank you.